Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to insert data to the database tables. So in this case, we will review also how to make a team or form in view, how to make controller and models, and how to make route. The new one is just save the data. Okay, so let's go to our project and I will detail on it. Okay, so we go to our project here. The first one I need to create the form. In this case, I just an example with the customer form. So basically, you need to check your connection first. You go to dot uh, env here. Click on it. You check the connection here. My actual ports and database inventory root and password in this case my password is my password is empty so I have configured it already so you want to you need to make sure on this so let's go we create one uh, view so my view is called ads customers dot let dot php and then we add some string here and edge customer and then I design one for so we open form we close it and we have the input type is text and name is ID and place holder input so we call input id then we close it okay i copy this the same right okay because we have four name sorry four column here so you yes one two three four okay so let me here is text and call names and here genders and the last one is address save it and the last one i just put the button here type submit so close it and hit add customers so in form we need action so in action here i just put land first and i will add with and i will add it next so the method the method I use push and save it. Don't forget when we use the form, we need to add token C F. Okay. If you do not understand, you will see my the previous video to explain you about the token. And then now we create one route for this. We go to route web.php so route u my ul is at and the file name is at customers that's right so let me test it yeah at that's fine here. Okay, I need to change the blade. So replace holder on here. So here we change to names, change to genders, and address. So now we create one model in order to connect to the database. So we take with the here is my 
database and my table name is customer okay so the customer the table name here is plural as at the end so I need to create the model sorry I need to create the model is singular it means no f at the end of uh, model customer so php artisan mix model and your model name is customer okay so just enter it and then you can check its apps model here yes. okay and next I need to create the add function in controller so we need uh, controller PHP addition mix uh, controller your controller name is customer controller just enter it for the making controller you just no need to create uh, to consider a uh, large uh, model you put you you can put any name you want okay so let's go to my controller together we go to controllers and find here customer controller and you create one function call yes we just add customers so in this case we get the data from the form from HTML, from HTML form here so we need a refresh yes declare one variable here rec okay so I need to import the model okay so app slash model slash model name so model name is customer sorry save it now I just like customer equal new customer in here is the model names and then customer ID equals read and IDs okay so in here ID it means that you need to check with the column name here it means the column name here ID and here's ID is the input type name here ID okay so you need to check this be careful on this so I just copy this and pass it like this in here is name names is genders and here is genders the last one is address and here also address save it and the last one customers you need to save it you use function save it save it and then we create one route for this function we go to web.php here we create one route so this route we need use the method post and the URL here add actually you can put the URL here is the same but you need to use the different method here so then we could we go to put the controllers customer controller let me check cost sorry what customer controller okay and then class you put the function name my function name is add 
customer don't forget to import the controller use app http slash controller your controller name is customer controller at france so in here we need to add to copy this add we add action on the form in add customer that let the php here action is add okay so when we submit the form it will go to the raw ads okay the raw ad and the raw ad will execute the function in controller customer here so let me save it and test it together so refresh it and i try to add for uh, 90 like my testing and gender m address pp sorry pp and I click add here so maybe something wrong on this let me check it oh, okay in the Laravel you it means that in the default in the function cell we need to have the column update add and create add okay so in this case my table is so fine I no need to create one more column here so you need to do a little bit configuration in model we go to our model uh, go to model where is model here customer model and you just config like public uh, like tam tam m Okay, let me check dollar times spin for sorry like this you save it and refresh it again let me check again try to add it again uh, 90s so here is ABC the name gender aims and address pp add it so the error is in greedy constraint validation column address can be now so let me check in my project and then go to controller okay let's see in the controller here our function and we have the wrong yes because we put uh, the wrong name you let me check here is the form okay name is address so i copy it and put in here save it and now we try to refresh it again so let me try to another three eighty ones so my it's my name is anxious and ames and the address is pp edit okay it is empty but actually the data is uh, insert to the database let me refresh it okay you can see here is 91 anxious m pp so we need to change a little bit in function here okay you can just return you write return and redirect to you the our view is add to you here is in here is the round name sorry you can see here we have round name here okay so In this case, mean that after we save the data, it will relate to the add customer form. So I save it and I refresh it again. 
so it to I, I want to add one more and the name is like uh, Philip and M address USA click edit yeah let me check in the database refresh it okay you can see is Philip and M and address USA okay so that's all for my presentation about uh, inserting data to the database and you can uh, focus on design a better form like you use a bootstrap or CF, okay? But in the another video, I will show you how to use bootstrap with the Laravel and how to design a beautiful form, okay? So in this case, uh, that's all for my presentation. And we will see you again with the next video. Thank you for watching.